Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about a link. Before we dive into this short term wave count and analysis, let's take a look at the long term outlook for link. Um, something that we should never forget about. We have specifically created several daily and weekly charts for several of the coins that we analyze to not lose sight of the bigger picture and to understand where on the larger time frame the relevant invalidation points are. So link we see as mainly in the yellow wave count. In the yellow wave count, that is the overall bullish wave count in which link produced a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, now in a wave four, and then one more high in a wave five. This wave five could take us to round about $100. I mean, potentially a little higher, potentially a little lower, but sort of that is roughly the idea for the next bull run. Don't lose sight of that. Um, it is still an altcoin, so still obviously nothing is guaranteed, right? But this is sort of what we are tracking. At the moment, the idea is that the link price is moving here in an ABC structure, and um, yeah, the C wave could still be in the making, okay? So the larger support area is between $2.98 and $5.89 on the larger time frame and the price has reacted to it again and since it reacted to our support area that we've shown you several times already the price has moved up 37 percent um, this is all happening within a price range so we take a look at that on the smaller time frame in a minute key breakout points key breakout point on this chart is nine dollars and fifty i mean can you can you see that the price has been moving in this sideways range since may 22 basically i mean more than a year way more than a year and it's a meaningful range i mean if that breaks to the upside it could send us quite quickly first to the next swing high at 18 dollars and 31 the next one then at 28 dollars and then the b wave high is highly relevant 39 dollars but then we have already moved significantly anyway now looking at the shorter time frame this is interesting because there are numerous uh, scenarios, various scenarios are possible here. The easiest scenario, the clearest scenario, even though also that is not super clear because we have to understand that in these ending diagonals, um, the subwave structures change and morph a lot, but it is still the clearest scenario. In this one, we have completed a fourth wave of the C wave. C wave has five waves, so basically, uh, it completed the second to last wave um, in November 22 with this high and could now be on its way down in this fifth wave to complete the bear market. And it would be a five wave move. One, two, three, four, five. The price is now in resistance. $7.98 is the resistance level. Um, it actually goes all the way up to 865, this resistance for wave two. But bear in mind, we are now approaching the upper boundary line of a descending price channel. A push above that level can take us to $9.50 and that is, as suggested, the breakout point. If we get higher, is this definitely already bullish? Not clearly, because it could be, and that's the second wave count, just a reset of wave 4 higher. As shown to you in previous videos, it could be that this wave 4 just unfolded as an A wave, a B wave, and the C wave is running now. And we've completed basically with Bitcoin together, a one, two setup potentially in the white wave count. If you know the Bitcoin chart, it's the white wave count. Um, they are aligned here. But again, it's, it's fairly unclear on the Bitcoin chart if that is what's playing out here. Also, I mean, it's still caught in the range, but it could be a one, two setup, three, four, five in wave C. And this could complete this larger degree fourth wave, which would then break down again later. So that's certainly something that is um, possible it would be my alternative wave count primary at the moment would be um, that we are watching for a potential reaction here in the resistance area. At the moment, I don't see one. I would pay attention to the descending trend line and then the $8.65 level to see if there's a reaction. At the moment, there is zero, there is no sign that a top is in place. Um, but if we start to see the third wave maybe begin, yeah, if we start to see that there is some downside pressure, then this could be our confirmation that this third wave to the downside has started. But it's quite likely that this wave two pushes a little higher. Um, it's a bit of a strange structure here. So $8.47, I wouldn't be surprised if the price reaches that level. Yeah, and then ultimately above that level, there's only $9.50. 
And above that level, yeah, we can push quite quickly here to round about, what did I say, $18. But there is currently nothing that would, you know, sort of be evidence for that. We are sort of a little bit in the in-between space in no man's land um, as we are currently on the Bitcoin chart. It's a bit of a wishy-washy market here. And also the pattern, I mean, the pattern in which Link is moving is just a range, right? So the market hasn't really decided yet. It's not trending at the moment. It's just moving sideways. So we have to just be a bit patient to see if it's uh, if the low is already in, yeah, a lasting low. But at the moment, there is just not enough evidence to suggest that or confirm that. Overall, looking at the bigger picture, I mean, the price reacted to the longer term support area. And if it goes from here, then it, um, let's say it, it, it touched that long term area and reversed at the ideal Fibonacci level, right? But um, on the shorter time frame to confirm that the price has indeed bottomed, we need to see some price action first. Okay, that's my update about Link. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.